you know what, Abraham? Absolutely. You still live what you can do, eh? Pop the skirt on the air, boy. My base. Booze, banknotes, and babies. What more do we need, eh? Yeah, man, you've got the dance floor. Find your best girl. I mean, this is the talent in here, eh? I don't want him, mate. Yeah, I know that he'll do you good, man. It'll clean your head of everything. I don't want him, all right? Hey, the big man here that you can flag that bird over there in the blue. Which one? That piece of sweetness right there. Here it comes, says she's mine in 15 minutes. Georgia Quick says she blows you out, boy, all right? Got yourself a deal, fat boy. What about you? You want a piece of this? Oh. Do yourself. Before you started trying to pull her. Come on, mate, leave the man alone. Then what's it to you? I said leave him alone! I'm Craig. It's come like that. They're a pain at the best of times. Give them a drink or two, and they're a nightmare. Tell me about it. Cheers, Craig. Look, uh, I want to do more than just buy you a drink, mate. I really appreciate what you did to me back there. No problem. Well, I just happened to be there for you, that's all. Besides, it's an honour for me. I'm a big Dragons fan. Yeah? Nice one. How about I sort you out some free tickets to the game this Saturday? Well, Leicester City? Yeah, freebies. Good seats as well, what do you say? Ah, uh, it's very generous of you, but to be honest, I've got my season ticket, and I like to stick to my regular perks. Fair enough. How about another drink then? No, thanks. Look, my daughter will leave you to enjoy the rest of your evening. Look, hang on. Look, how about I meet you for a drink after the game, in the players' lounge? No, you don't have to, but... All right, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'll sort you out a pass, all right? Pick you up from the reception tomorrow. All right, nice one. I'll see you then, Flash. Look, thanks again, Craig. Cheers. Thank you, drink? I know I need one. Victoria, please, I came over to review your business plan. And so you shall, later. No! Don't sulk. Let me see what you've got planned for Patson Palm PR. Most of the interviews you've got here are for Linda Block. If people want to write about Hartford United, they should be writing about me, not her. It's my money that keeps that place going. She's a beautiful single woman running a football club. I can't help it if everyone wants to write about her. Well, I just have to hope that if you give her enough rope, she'll uh, hang herself. I'm sure she will. I mean, she's hardly the sharpest tool in the box, is she? I... we were just talking about Tash Parker. I'll study these and give you some feedback in the morning. Linda? Victoria, when I invited you to stay here, I didn't expect Prashant Tolly to be a regular visitor. So, if you're going to carry on your affair with him, perhaps you ought to find other accommodation. It's purely business. It won't happen again. Actually, Linda, I have some interview requests that I'd like to discuss with you. One of the Sunday papers would like to do a cover story on you for its business section. Really? It would be fabulous PR. Hey, Cap, will you still think of buying your own place? Yeah, as soon as I can, really. What about sharing? Why'd you ask? 
to take my place, man. It's enormous. I only use half of it. It just seems a waste, don't it? I wasn't thinking about something your size, though, bruv. Huh? Right, about half the size. Yeah, about that. We're well, settled then, innit? What's settled? Well, my house is too big. You come and share it. Nice one, bruv. We are going to have a laugh, mate. Let's we'll borrow that one, friend. We'll have a mental time. Uncle Lady here will show you a little trick or two. Oh, mate. Mate. Evening, lady. See you still on your own. Where's your bit of skirt, then? She's getting her cut. What is that now? What? I don't want to dance with you. I God, here comes I'm trouble, man. I'm going to need you to use some of Right, I'm off. Are you all using? Hey, you all using? Hey, 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 No, look, I don't want to fight with her, OK? It's only going to make things worse. Anyway, she ain't stopping me from seeing him. Oh, love. You look terrible. Let me make you some bread. Look, Mum, I know you want to help, yeah, but this really ain't the time, OK? I've got to go training, I've got to go and have a shower. I'm sorry you came all this way for nothing. Welcome to the new neighbourhood, boy, eh? So what do you think then, bruv? It's big, isn't it? Listen, I'll tell you what, take a look upstairs, mate. I'll make you a cup of coffee, use yourself a bedroom, all right? All right, yeah. Oh. Don't get no ideas about the blue one, all right? That's my room. Hello? Ed, you were supposed to pick me up for training ten minutes ago. Yeah, all well, right, calm down, bruv, calm down. Yeah, I'm showing the uh, camera on the house. What's up? Yeah, he's moving in. Yo, I'll be there in ten minutes. Relax, all right? Relax. Alright, Jesus. Five bedrooms, man. Everyone's got their own bathroom. He wants to see Fetch's place next door, mate. Six bedrooms, and he's got a jacuzzi in the front room. Look, I'll take the one with the yellow wallpaper, yeah? Now remember, you can still phone a friend. No. Can find a large stuff. Yeah. Campbell Hooper, you came here nowhere to live and you've chosen the yellow bedroom. I'm afraid. It's the right answer. Welcome to the neighbourhood. <laughs> nice one, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Don't believe you when you were a baby. Gorgeous. What we called him? Sam. After Granddad. Oh, Scotty, did he ever so proud? I wish you could have seen him. Right, you sit down and have this little lot. No, Mum, I'm not hungry, right? Don't well, you said you had regular cleaners? I do. <laughs> They're not much good, are they? When was the last time you think you had a good clean? Where'd you keep your bleep? Mum, will you leave it? Listen, I've talked to Anne about a trip to Bristol, OK? In a couple of weeks, you, me and Sam. Now, I don't want to be rude or anything, but I seriously need to be on my own right now. Look, I'm sorry you had a wasted trip, OK? I've got to go training. I'm sorry you had some money for petrol. Darren's on a school trip. You can show me the way to the Grange. I'll stay there for a couple of days. Oh, don't be daft, love. You need me here. You and me can talk like we always do. You've got to talk to someone and you'll go crazy. I'm your mum, and I'm here to help. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Only wish that you were here. You know I'm seeing it so clear. I've been afraid. Show you how I really feel And this is some of those bad mistakes I've made And if you want it, come and get it Crying out loud I love 
I'm glad I caught you on your own. You dropped right. You picked up an injury in training, you won't be fit for Saturday. You're not in the right frame of mind. I had a call from the manager of Studs last night. Some promotion will do you wreck. Listen, Scott, from where I'm standing, it looks like you're slipping back to where you were last year. And I'm not putting my team through that again. Okay. Get some help. To pass for the uh, players' lounge after the game tomorrow. What's your name? Uh, it'll be just under Craig. Nothing here at the moment. Doesn't matter. Cheers, thanks a lot. Hey, Craig. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Not bad. I was just about to sort you out. Give me two seconds. Hello, darling. Can I have um, a players' lounge pass for my man Craig here? Sure. Thank you. We up to now? Oh, I've got to go back to work. Fancy a little walk down the tunnel and a stroll on the old hallow turf? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, thanks, darling. Okay. There you go, bud. Follow me. So what do you think? Don't believe I'm doing this. Well, the great players have walked down here. Me. Why don't you check out the turf? Come on. You should see it when it's full. It's quite a bug. Yeah? You come and stand with me one day. Still my kind of buzz. I tell you what, man, if you hadn't saved me from those two pieces of pond life last night, I wouldn't have been fit to play tomorrow. You've done our chest United a big favour. Look, uh, I've got to shoot off, mate. We'll have a drink in the Paz Lounge tomorrow, yeah? Anything else I can do for you? Stick three past the foxes from there. No sweat. See you later, mate. Come to see Ray Wyatt. I'm afraid it's going to involve training. It is urgent and personal. Of course. I thought I could do. Oh, Mr. Wyatt, I don't know if you remember me. It's Carol Lucas, Scott's mother. Oh, yeah? How are you? Scott will be out in a minute. Actually, it's you I've come to see. Eh, all right. Do you want to know where to come up to my office? Mm -hmm. He rang me the night the Sam was born. He was delighted, really happy. And since then, nothing. I've tried phoning a flat, I don't know how many times. No answer. I thought Sam might be ill. Well, I've thought all sorts of awful things. And now I find out that she's taken the baby away to live on her own in Bristol. And it's killing Scott. I know, I keep telling him to go and see Lisa, but he's having none of it. Who's Lisa? His therapist. I beg your pardon? Lisa Anderson, she's a highly qualified counsellor. The club arranged him to see her last year when he went missing that time. Scott's been seeing a therapist for a year. And he didn't tell you? Seems like there's an awful lot he hasn't told me. Look, if you can encourage him to go and speak to Lisa again, you'd really be helping him out. Hello, Mrs. Hill. How are you doing? Hey, dear. How are you? I'm not Scott. Um, he's over the bar. Shouldn't be drinking before a game. What if Ray sees you? Mum's dropped me, innit? Where are you going now? Listen, you've been here. It really isn't helping, all right? And some therapist woman is. You can talk to her, but you can't talk to your own mother. Hold on. How do you know about Lisa? What's the way about you? You've been going to my boss round my back. Well, you've been speaking to some shrink about our family problems behind my back. Mum, mum, I think we should get together. Come on. Why did you need to talk to a stranger? You know I was always there. It's easy to talk to her, okay? She ain't a part of it like you. Did you talk about me? That's it. What did you say? Mum, nothing bad about you, okay? It doesn't work that way. Ray says you won't go back. Yeah, what for? She can't help me now. My son's gone and there's nothing she can do to bring him back. I'm so sorry, love.
Mum, I don't want Sam to have it the way I did. Okay, I couldn't stand that. I want him to have a father. a lot of your articles there. Very thorough, very informative. I'll well, thank you again. Thank you. So, what is it exactly that you want to write? Well, like I said on the phone, it's a piece about football in the Midlands, focusing on two premiership sides, yourself and Leicester. And uh, since you're playing Leicester today, I thought it was a good opportunity. Mm, what do you want to do? Well, um, spend as much of the day as possible with you, you know, trying to see it through your eyes, if that's all right. You do realise that today's going to be very busy for me. I won't get in the way. This is a real litmus test for Harchester United as they prepare for this game against inform Leicester City, who surprised quite a few teams in the opening weeks of the season. This is a match Leicester will feel they can at least get a point from, possibly three, Harchester's inconsistent form will be worrying their demanding fans. We'll be wondering today why Scott Lucas isn't even in the squad. We'll be presuming it's all to do with newspaper speculation that he's facing disciplinary action after being involved in an incident in a nightclub in the town. I'm sorry, love, but you're doing yourselves no good sitting and listening to that. Why don't we go and see Sam? Yeah, no. Well, you said Anne said you can see him any time you like. Why not now? Go on, give her a ring. If you don't, I will. And I'll go down there by myself. I've come all this way just to see my grandson and I ain't going home till I do. Yeah, okay. Uh, just one thing. What's that? I'll drive. No, you're not sure if my car's are you? I'll take mine. I'd like to live long enough just to see me go as grand child. I'd like to check on my corporate box for just before the game. Yeah, make sure they've had a decent lunch. I've got everything I need. We've got 30 bottles in this day. <laughs> well, it's a good job we don't come here for the food. You know, I really used to enjoy the beef wellington. This chicken tastes like it's been eaten before. <laughs> well, I'll be sure to have a word with the chef. Can I introduce Meredith Sampson? She's doing an after one. Meredith, this is Colin Tyler from Tyler Tyre and his wife, Margaret. Hello. And this is his brother-in-law, Martin Duke. He's the manager of Hartis's Golf and Country Club. And this is Ruth's wife. Hello. Ask us anything you want to know about Harchester United, love. No one knows this place better than us. We've been here through seven chairmen. God knows how many managers, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd be having another managerial change if I had anything to do with it. Tell us, Eddie Moliano's not playing, is he? That bloke's an absolute donkey. That's for the defence. I mean, it's useless. As you know, gentlemen, I don't get involved in team affairs. Ray White has assured me we're going to have a very successful season. I'm glad to hear it. You don't want to shell out good money to watch your team lose week after week. Yes, well, let's just hope we have three good points today, then, gentlemen. Enjoy the game, uh, ladies. Bye-bye, nice to meet you. Yeah. Mm. 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 I feel like an ever-ready, net-busting goal machine. And I'm going to do my thing, ain't I? Yeah? All right, lad. Remember what we talked about. Let's be fair to the ball, eh? Come on, let's have you. Hey, come on, come on. You're sex machine. Come on! Well, then, have you done that? Come on, boys. Let's have a good in here. Come on! Will Leicester City's impressive away form prove to be too much for Harchester today? Harchester's new signings are betting in. Defensively, they're getting things about right, but in attack, goals have been hard to come by. And possibly even harder today, with Scott Lucas out. And that means that Carl Fletcher has to lead the attack on his own. He's found goals hard to come by of late. Two young managers experiencing very different starts to the season. Peter Taylor has successfully taken up the baton, handed on by Martin O'Neill. His Leicester side have led this division. So they've given away an early throw in right at the start of this game. Oh, oh 
snowy school jacket. Oh, my little darling, come here. Come on, Mom. and shut you up. They're driving around all night and your dad's beat up old escort. Only then, as soon as we got you home, you'd wake up and start crying again. I can't imagine Dad driving around a baby all night. Well, to tell you the truth, I did most of the driving. He was nearly always on nights in them days. It's so weird, you know, knowing everything I've thought and done the past few weeks, you did the same all those years ago. I think they're the first person in the world to go through it. What was he like, Dad? Was he there when I was born? You must be joking! Wasn't up for any gold mouth action, that's how he put it. Charming. He needs his feed. The Leicester captain, Matty Elliott, really causing Harchester a problem today. And here he is again, flicking the ball on. Conlon hesitates. And the Oaks, it's 2 0. And the recriminations are beginning early. Because both goalkeeper and central defender Conlon hesitated. And Matt Elliott pounced. We'll have to change it round. We'll get the floor in the middle of the pass. We're in stoppage time at the end of the first half. Sinclair clears for Leicester City. Up towards Eni. And there's a half-time whistle. And Leicester already sends another Premier League victory. Courtesy of those two Matty Elliott goals. But even Elliott would be the first to admit that Conlon and Baptiste have been unsettled by his presence. Jamie Parker has been none too convincing in this game. It's an unhappy and argument-filled Harchester who head to the dressing room now at the break. And who'd be in the shoes of that coach, Ray Wyatt? His team trailed 2 0 at half time. Lovely here. Yeah. Mum, why did Dad leave? Oh, what do you want to drag all that up for? I just want to know, that's all. It was 17 years ago. Yeah, but I feel that I lost Anne and Sam because. I don't know, I get scared, I hurt her, you know? Have you ain't never hit that girl, have you, Scott? No, no, it's nothing like that. Man. You know, I tried to help her, and I kind of overdid it. She said I was coming on too strong, trying to live a life for her and all that. Lisa reckons it's because, or it could have something to do with Dad leaving, and me not feeling that like I have any control of my own life. So this Lisa woman's got you believing that it's my fault that you've lost Dan and Sam? Right. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Ain't nothing like that, is it? Well, what is the point to all this? Mum? Now look what you've done! Come on, lads, eh? Get your heads up. This isn't over this. We can have these. All right, lads, listening. It's not working, so this is what we're going to do. Lee, you're on for Eddie. Ian Hilaire, I want you wide on the right. Campbell, drop in behind Peter Mack. Mack, you take Fletcher's role. Fletcher, you take a rest. Matty, DD Buzz, we're going to a back three, OK? That's it, boys. Let's go and do the job, eh? Come on. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. What are you taking me up for? You're not doing it, son. Welcome back. Leicester lead 2-0 at half-time. He's smiling. Matty Elliott has claimed both goals, but Harchester have made changes. Eddie Moliano and Carl Fletcher have been sacrificed. Harchester have switched to a three-man defence in an attempt to play more adventurously with Mack and Hooper both up front now. This is Conlon now for Harchester United. And Harchester have been caught offside. Just in midfield. Yeah, Fletcher's off. Yeah, that's a lunch, wasn't it? I don't get it. Why are you getting so upset just because I asked you why Dad left? Because you're looking to blame me. Your dad left you so you and Anna got problems. That's what that therapist woman's got you believing. I'm not blaming you, okay? This has nothing to do with blame. Okay, I just want to know. I mean, he disappears one day and then, like, in 17 years, nothing said about it. Well, I was always there for you. I'm not saying you weren't, Mum. Well, what are you saying? I just think it's strange that, you know, we never talked about it, that's all. She's got you analysing stuff that's dead and buried, upsetting you, upsetting me. Poor Sam. Who 
open now for Harchester. Back to Perkins. Cleared by Gilchrist as far as Peter Mack. Lovely turn by Mack. Oh, it's got in! Harchester are back in the game! No wonder he's had over heels. Can he now turn the match on his head? It's Harchester 1, Leicester 2. And that goal by Peter Mack gives Harchester a lifeline. They'll remember his name if his goal leads to a Harchester revival. I mean, funny, mate. It's only a scratch, and I'm saying. Yeah. Well, you want to call it a couple of 20s, yeah? Yeah, that'd be All right. Keep that nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. All right, man. Calm down, yeah? Nothing's happened. Sam's fine. Look, we better be getting back, because Sam's going to be doing a nut. Why don't you get in the back, and I'm going to drive, yeah? Mum? Hey, what's happened? Mum, what's the matter? You hurt or something? I had an affair. That's why your father left me. I had an affair. Is that what you wanted to know? You didn't tell Anne about the crash, did you? No. Come on, don't cry, eh? Get you on. Welsh international Robbie Savage has had a fine game for Leicester. His team lead by two goals to one. The time is running out now for Harchester. They're pushing a lot of players forward like Conlon, who picks out Linger here. Let's go with the head of Mac! What a chance! See me, mate, I want to bury that. No worries. Another chance comes and goes, and the goal scorer is both hero and villain. Only seconds left now. Elliot flicks the ball off. Away by Conlon. Archester just have to get the ball forward quickly. They managed to do that. But there's the full time whistle. And a chorus of boos greet the final whistle. As Archester lose again. Peter Mack had that great chance to claim a point right to the end. But Archester will be disappointed with this performance and their fans will be in similar mood. Four marks to Leicester City are riding high once again in the table, but Harchester United know this isn't good enough. Waste of time. I need to have a word. <laughs> Bad result, eh? Yeah, yeah. Glad you can make it. Fancy a drink? Uh, orange juice, please. Yeah, fancy some champagne. But we lost. Yeah, so? It's a class drink, isn't it? I always drink it. Uh, usual peas and orange juice. So. Hey, 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 big man. Little thing with the boys? <coughs> Easy, your mum. No, it's my guest, mate. One quick drink and I'm square with a geezer. All right? Make it a quick one, mate. Champagne, yeah? Make it a bottle. Spraggy. Right. Me and you have to have a chat. What do you think of this place, then? Yeah. Very nice. We need to talk. Yeah, we are talking, mate. See any babes you fancy? No, but about the team. There's no way we should have lost today. No way. You weren't being used properly. Yeah, I know, mate, all right? But not now, eh? It's my downtime. It won't take long. Mate, you are not going to believe this, but my PR agent just walked in, and she's asked introducing to some bloke about a sponsored deal for toothpaste. What can I do? Can't wait. Later, yeah? Mel gets a copy. Yeah, please, thank you. Two and a half grand a season for the privilege of coming here to watch that rubbish. You're having a laugh, aren't you? I can assure you that running this club is no joke. No, I've told you before. Fifty grand a year for a box, and it's an embarrassment bringing my clients here to watch that crap. I'm sorry you feel this way. Oh, that's all right then. Do you really think that that's an acceptable level of performance for the money that we pay? I don't think now is the time of... Do you think it's acceptable? Perhaps you'd like to, uh, arrange to have a little chat with our business manager, and you can air your grievances. No, 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 no. You run this place. You make the decisions. And the responsibility for the team's performance rests with you. Oh, what's the point? Stupid woman. Um, excuse me, sir. You're right. Oh, fine. I just need 
to get away from those men. How do you cope? I don't think anyone talked to me like that. I just slapped them in the face. You get used to it. <sighs> the hardest thing is not to let them see you upset. Well, I thought you were terrific. Dealing with a couple of prats like that would drive me mad. Oh, it does. You know, they wander around like they own the place and they treat you like a scapegoat when the team don't perform well. They always that reason. Oh, believe me. I'd rather face 30,000 fans chanting on about my private life than 10 disgruntled sponsors. Really? <sighs> yeah. Well, if I didn't need their money so much, I would gladly tell them to get stuff. Oh, you know, Meredith. What with the players constantly moaning and their agents trying to squeeze me out of every penny I've got. Give me a normal phone any day. Do you ever feel like jacking it in? Oh, only every morning, noon and night. <laughs> no. Seriously, it's not that bad. I still get an almighty buzz when we win. I just wish it was more often. Well, it's still waiting for a word. In a minute, ma'am. I'm just going for a pee. Yeah, but you said later. I need to talk. What do you want from me? I got you in here, bought you drinks. What? Fletch. It's your game. What is it with people like you? You don't own me, pal. I don't want to talk to you anymore. No, no, no. We need to talk. You need to listen. Is there a problem, Fletch? No, I'm talking to him. Uh, yeah. It's Muppet's last lady's welcome. Bye-bye, Craig. Hey, there's no need for that, pal. I'm not the one who's just thrown his rattle out of his pram. It's gone out. I don't even remember getting back. No, you fell asleep. So, do you want a cup of tea? Look, Mum, uh, I don't upset you enough, think, but about what you said in the car. Do we have to do this? Look, you asked me why your dad left, and I told you. It wasn't your fault. That's what you've been thinking all these years. It was mine. Yeah, but I just wish you had told me, that's all. I mean, all those times, right, that I'm waiting for him to come pick me up and he never came. I thought he didn't care. He loved you. You were the best thing to come out of that marriage, Scotty. The only good thing. Yeah, and Dan. Mum? Mum, look at me. You telling me that my father ain't Darren's father? Talk. You get out now, or I'll call the police. You call them, and I'll break your legs. I want to talk to you. Run a few ideas past you, that's all. But it's hard work getting your attention, Carl. Not too good at paying attention, are what you? What do you want? Show me your right foot. What? You are blessed with a sweet right foot. You're a very lucky man, Carl Fletcher. You play football. It's a special gift that shouldn't be taken for granted or abused because one day, any day, it could all end. Take your right shoe and sock off. What for? Do it! Look, come on, man. You don't want to do this. All right, look, I'm sorry I blamed you, right? I'm, so I'm really sorry I've got you chucked out. I'd leave for Archester. Will you? Now, do I have your attention? Mum, you stop with all this cooking and cleaning. I'm trying to talk to you. What's that therapist done to you? Bloody verbal diarrhea. I haven't talked this much since the day I was born. When are you going to tell Darren? Never. Never? Well, don't you think he's got a right to know? Well, what good would it do? He still won't have a father, will he? Oh, I know you lot think it's good to talk, get it all out in the open, but that ain't the way I see it. 
What good's the truth if all it does is hurt people? Promise me you won't tell him, Scott, please. Oh, I won't condition. What? Just stop cleaning that ruddy microwave. I never use it anyway. We'll get you back on track. I spend my days under the bonnet of some geezer's car fixing his brake pads or his exhaust. And you, you earn more in a week than I do in a year. Too much of the eye life makes you soft in the head, Carl. You're losing your edge and that's all you got. Once you lose that, you're just another player. That's the hundred. You need to be more committed, more dedicated, like me and the thousands who follow you. See, I'm going to have to show you the way. Yes, fellas, what's happening? Well, nothing here, that's for sure, mate. We thought you might try another club. A lot of your style, boys, we're up now, what? The thing is, Ed, it's just going to be the three of us. No offence, mate. I get this is a bad thing, isn't it? No, mate, an age thing. And a dance thing, bro. And we sing you dancing, mate. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I was born a dragon. I'll be a fan forever. I know stuff about a team that, that people never know. Bet you don't know who's made the most first team appearances. Hocknell. Ken Hocknell. Wrong! He's top scorer. Someone you could learn a thing or two from. Nah, you should have said he patch him. 543 appearances. I can name the team that won the second division championship in 1958. Brown, Thompson, Cook, Harper, O'Neill, Wilson, Hughes, Hill, Megson, Shot and... and Miller. That was a bit before my time, Craig. And mine too. But you should still know it. It's part of me. And it's part of you. How you spend your Saturday nights? Sometimes. No proper meals. Look, do you want to give this film a miss? Because uh, I know the word of it anyway, not me. Mind you, it ain't a patch on real life, is it? Think about it. I've got a brother who ain't my brother. My mum's some scarlet woman. Who was it then, Mum? Oh, will you give it a rest? Just some bloke that I used to work with. He was married to three kids. I ain't proud of myself, Scott. I was lonely. This is just so weird, to use your words. To be talking about it. To you, of all people. Well, I used to think you'd hate me if you knew the truth. He was such a daddy's boy. Mum, I would never hate you, right? Or right, maybe back then. But let's face it, I ain't had a model life, have I? If anyone gets it right. What is right? Look, Scott, don't fret about the past. You and Sam are going to be all right. You love him. He love you, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I know. In the head, I kick every ball with you. I live every moment with you. And I'm here to help you, Carl. Bless you, my old mucker. How you doing, bro? It's uh, your old mate Eddie. Bought out of his box, Moriano here, man. Um, I've got a bit of a problem. All the boys have left me on my jacks here, so uh, I don't know. I was wondering if you wanted a night out, have a few drinks, have it large, so to speak. Um. Did you do give the buzz back, mate? Uh, if not, have a good time on a young girl, you know what I mean? Fuck her out, mate. Good hit. Bye, good bye. Eddie Squareball, Donkey Man Maliano. What a shocking waste of money he was. Oh, good evening, Crash. Linda, I've got a copy of tomorrow's paper. I'll put you to it as soon as possible. I don't believe this. I've 
go to this woman in confidence. So you did say those things then? Not like this. I, d I didn't mean it like this. Listen, Linda, let me give you some advice. Never talk to the press unless they're off duty, and they're never off duty. Yes, thank you, press. I think I'll bear that in mind in future. I mean, what were you thinking of? In the single article, you managed to insult the players and the sponsors in one fell swoop. It's quite an achievement. Congratulations. I'll leave you to it. Linda? I had no idea. I was upset. I didn't mean to insult anybody. She put these words into my mouth. I'd just been humiliated by those horrible men. I thought she was being nice. Linda, that's the oldest trick in the book. Making you feel secure, then going in for the kill. I thought you knew how it worked with journalists. Yeah, so did I. I didn't realize she was out to get me as well. God, I've been such a fool. It's just a shame. It would have been a wonderful opportunity to get everyone on your side. Yeah, and I messed up. Well, maybe we should keep you away from the press until this is all blown over. Oh, it's a big story. It might take a while for it to all die down. It used to be a club for the true fan. Now it's only about money and how much they can squeeze out of us. Trinkets and junk with a dragon on it. Even something proper like this shirt cost me over 30 quid. It's about what's in here that counts. In here, not my wage packet. I am the dragon's roar. I have complete love and commitment for United. We've got to work together, you and me, because we're part of the same thing. We need to get you back to where you were. And you need me to help you get you there. I was reading some paper about how sports people need a therapist. Well, you need me. I am your therapist. And remember, one Carl Fletcher, there's only one Carl Fletcher. One Carl Fletcher, sing it! There's, there's only one Carl Fletcher. One Carl Fletcher! There's only one Carl Fletcher! One cow flesh, yeah. There's only one. Right, that's enough for one night, enough. It's been good. I feel like we're, we're making some real progress. You mention this to anyone, and I'll break your legs. Get us a spare key cut, will you, for next time? Save you breaking in. See ya. Ed, is that you? Who do you think it is? That was you, boy, like a ghost. Oh, hang on, what's with the foot? Have I tried to do the same dirty big toe again? What have I told you? Ed, what do you want? I was going to bed. Oh, yeah, well, I saw the lights on, mate, and I bailed you no one picked up, so I thought, he's got a young lady over here, really. So basically, I mean, to have a little peek at her, will you, Chuck? Yeah. Come on, mate, it's getting later, mate. Oh, yeah, of course, mate. Good luck with the bird. Find him tomorrow morning, I'll pick you up. See, Ty, watch those ghosts. <laughs>